My name is Jim Myers. I'm a vegetable breeder. I, I work at Oregon State University in the Department of Horticulture. Trying to do agriculture in Alaska presents a unique opportunity for plant breeding. It is so different from anywhere else on the planet, I think. And I think that um, there's a, you know, there, we could probably find genetic variation that would be very useful in, in this area. It just has never been put together in, in that way. And I think through forming partnerships between farmers and breeders, we can make progress in this regard. Participatory plant breeding is a, a technique that can be used to breed for improved crop plants here in Alaska. Uh, commercial seed companies generally regard Alaska as a, a small market, and uh, so they're not specifically breeding for this area. Their material is not necessarily adapted, and so it can be hard for growers to find varieties that will work well for them in the, these sorts of situations. It's an ideal uh, type of environment to engage farmers and breeders to uh, come together to, to develop varieties. And this is the idea behind participatory plant breeding. The farmer comes to the table with knowledge of the crops that they want to improve, um, the traits that are important to them, they have knowledge of the markets, uh, so, so uh, they kind of design and help run the program, whereas plant breeders come to the table with knowledge about uh, where to find germplasm, where to find the, the traits that are needed, and how to go about uh, breeding a technique, using breeding techniques that are efficient to develop um, the new varieties. And together it's a partnership um, where they engage in the, the process of plant breeding. The traits that are important in breeding in a participatory plant breeding project are going to vary. And as, as I mentioned, the, a lot of it depends on what the farmer considers important. Uh, the breeder also has ideas about, say, particular disease resistances and pest resistances that, that might be important. But overall, there's some kind of general categories of traits that are important. Things like vigor, seedling vigor, and vigor later on during the season can be quite important. Um, there's there's uh, certain stress tolerances that can be an issue. Um, here in Alaska, I would think that cold tolerance is going to be a major issue with the various crop plants. Um, growers may also have specific needs for their production system. Um, they do things a certain way. Maybe they're in a in a high, high tunnel situation or out in the field, and they need adaptation to those sorts of production situations. They also have certain market needs. There may be certain quality traits and uh, other traits that are important to them in terms of the, the produce they sell that are important to their customers. 